All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's talk about Jasmine. First and foremost, just want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys from the Jasmine community for showing so much love. And uh, yeah, you guys are continuing to show the support and you are seeing these regular updates that I bring you guys. So you guys know the drill at this point. But anyhow, let's take a look at what is happening with the broader market. If you're looking at the broader market right now, we are seeing quite a bit of red across the board and um, shouldn't really be coming as a surprise to any one of you at this point, especially if you did watch my market analysis, or if you've been watching the day to day analysis videos. So uh, everything seems to be down right now. You know, we have seen Bitcoin actually retest $60,000, um, you know, today. Obviously, now, you know, we're in uh, midnight, obviously approaching Saturday. But, you know, on Friday, we did see Bitcoin actually going down to $60,000, 60500 to be specific, which, of course, impacted, uh, you know, the broader market. Over the last one hour, you're seeing a little bit of relief across the board. But again, in a grand scheme of things, you know, take this with a grain of salt. But anyhow, if you're looking at Jasmine, it is down about 4.8% right now with the price currently sitting at 2.548 cents. It's also down about 1.5% in Bitcoin comparative if you like cloud your stoshis. Anyhow, looking at the market cap, $1.23 billion, and the 24 hour trading volume is at $145 million. But before we get into it any further, you guys know at this point, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So, what has changed uh, today is that the dominance index actually went up very high, and that is all due to market uncertainty. There is extensive amount of uncertainty across the board right now uh, due to, you know, the stock market crash. And again, now I think this is only going to put more sell pressure. And again, this is my own personal opinion right now. I think this might cause more panic across the board leading up to the upcoming week ahead of us. So it's going to be really interesting to see how, um, you know, the feds react to this because $3 trillion by any means is not a small amount. Uh, but, you know, dominance going up, which is really uh, causing altcoins to go down even more, as we know. Bitcoin, on the other hand, if you're looking at the price of Bitcoin, Bitcoin actually did retest 60500 as mentioned, even though we're seeing a little bit of a bounce as to be expected because, of course, a very, very important level of support, um, you know, even though we have seen a little bit of a bounce, we're still below my confirmation level, which is, um, you know, obviously 64K, uh, you know, $64,000 is that confirmation level for myself, but we're below that. And I still do believe there is a chance with the uncertainty across the board right now that we potentially actually do fall below $60,000 for Bitcoin. So obviously, you know, with that said, that is going to impact the broader market without a doubt. And right now, if you're looking at Jasmine, one thing did happen, um, you know, which we spoke about literally in our yesterday's update, as I discussed with you guys yesterday that, you know, even though Jasmine is holding better against a BTC right now in a broader, uh, you know, sense, it actually is holding better uh, since, you know, the July 5th low. But one thing I want to tell you guys is, you know, this upward trajectory that we were forming has gotten invalidated because of this Bitcoin move. Because you can see this for yourself. We did see Jasmine go down to the 2.45 cents. And literally two days back, you know, when we were talking about these targets, some people in the uh, comments on my videos were calling me absolutely crazy. Literally go back to the videos. And I literally spoke about these specific targets, of course, if Bitcoin were to lose some key support levels. And that actually did end up happening. And there were literally some people that were calling me absolutely crazy saying no there's no way jasmine is going to go lower jasmine is going to continue to go towards the upside and again you know we need to look at it on a realistic um you know side of we need to look at it from a realistic angle. Uh, you know, if we have a bias involved, guys, you know, that is going to cause you to lose a lot of profits. Um, but, you know, there are a lot of viewers at the same time that actually did lock some profits and that are going to reaccumulate now at these cheaper positions. Because speaking about cheaper positions, literally from, uh, you know, just uh, two days back, we were at 3.36 cents. You are seeing, you know, Jasby down almost 30 percent, guys. 30% pullback by, you know, that is quite a significant uh, drop. So if you were on the sidelines um, and you, you know, you were kind of giving yourself a hard time for not picking up Jasmine when it made its way up to 3.3 cents, well, um, you know, dollar cost averaging in around here would be much better compared to dollar cost averaging in around the 3.3 .3 cents. But now with that said, 
you know, we're being supported by, you know, some significant support line. We know the significance of this support. Now, if this support is to be lost, you know, we honestly could fall down to the 2.189 cents. And again, that is a very, very realistic target to be looking out for. And that's an additional 15% drop. We know, Jasmine, it's not a large market valuation project. A lot of manipulation does occur in Jasmine's price. So, you know, we need to uh, keep uh, that factor in mind. I know a lot of Jasmine moon boys don't like hearing that fact, but that is a reality, believe it or not. And that could potentially play out for us if Bitcoin loses this support and this very very important support and i'm going to be quite frank with you guys the amount of uncertainty there is the amount of fear there is across the board right now it's quite large so remember there's a famous saying be greedy while others are fearful be fearful while others are greedy as you know there's a lot of fear right now dominance skyrocketing uh you know not a lot of people are interested in altcoins you know there's a massive sale once again so you know people that are um you know taking advantage of this sale across the board doing their due diligence research and actually um, you know, investing what they can afford to lose, I think are going to do better in the long haul. But we're going to take it one step at a time. As always, it's just my own personal opinion. We'll see you tomorrow in Crypto ZX and peace out.